hello i'm sure you can tell by the current state of my face that i am about to film a makeup video i was just about to do my makeup and i just kind of fancied filming it so i'm going to film it and have a chat lately i've been doing quite minimal makeup i've really stripped back my makeup routine so this is going to be kind of a minimal no makeup makeup ish thing i don't know i am going for dinner with my friend later so i'll probably wear quite a bit of mascara but i really lessened things with the lipstick and the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put on my makeup and have a chat with you. Take off my glasses. So I can't see the viewfinder that well because it's quite far from me. Well it's not as pretty close to me but I've just taken off my glasses and I am going to be looking in the mirror as well to see the makeup but I thought it would just be nice to do a cash video so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna clip back this weird fringy thing which I'm growing out to get out of my face and then I'll talk you through my products and what I'm putting on my face. I have a damp, pretty dirty Real Techniques complexion sponge and two of these bad boys. This is It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I mix the shades light and fair because I'm somewhere in the middle so I'm going to pop that on. If you haven't heard about this, I'd be very surprised, but I really, really love this foundation for kind of an everyday look. If I want something more full coverage in the evening, I tend to uh, use the NARS Sheer Glam. But I am actually curious to try the new NARS one, so if you've tried it, let me know what it's like, because I'm quite curious about it. I'm gonna just, I've mixed the two shades, a pump of each in my hand, just gonna do it all over my skin. Also, this is really minty, so it feels really refreshing to put on. Just gonna blend that out with my sponge. I definitely prefer using a sponge damp. My mum has one and she uses it dry and I keep telling her to try it damp, but she I think she just doesn't understand why. And it's just it's just it's just nicer. <laughs> and any excess on my hand I'm just putting on my sponge and just going back over my face. Lovely, so that's my foundation down. I'm just going to put on some concealer. The concealer I have at the moment, i got to be honest, I don't love, but I'm using it because I don't want to buy another. This is the I Erase Anti-Age Instant in Light by Maybelline. Now, I quite like what it actually does initially when I wear it, but I hate the package in there. I like the spongy thing, but it's so grubby. I find you've got to twist it loads to get product out, and then loads comes out at once, so that's annoying. And I also find after a while on my skin, it sits a bit cakey and looks a bit dry under my eyes. So yeah, that's not ideal, is it? I don't love it, but it took me a while to realise what I didn't like because I kept looking in the mirror and thinking, oh, my skin looks a bit a bit off. And eventually I clicked that, it, I changed my concealer and it was just looking cakey like all around where I applied it. But I initially like the coverage it gives and stuff. And I also think it's probably too yellow toned for me. But if you have any concealer recommendations, let me know. I find I don't enjoy a lot of concealers. I've not found one I love yet. The, what's that collection one everyone talks about? I find on my skin that is, the shade's just not right, which is a shame because I hear so many people go on about how amazing it is. Alright, now we go, got some concealer on. I'm going to go for a very natural contour using this. This is the Tanya Bear Contour Sticks in light medium. I like this, but I do find it is quite orange toned, but I, uh, I really love the formula. I just like it to be more in the middle because it is quite orange toned. I'd like it to have a slight more greyness to it. But at the moment I feel like it, it works well as a bronzer rather than a contour. I'm just applying that along the... There we go. In all the places that I want to hide. <laughs> all the places I want to pull back. That's why you put the dark shades. Oh, I've got an email. Right, and I'm going to... Blend that out with this. Uh, this is a Morphe brush, Morphe M439, just a buffing brush. And I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend. I don't know what this video is gonna turn out like because I'm just talking rubbish, but sometimes I fancy doing things like this and 
I watch a lot of Get Ready With Me's and I do really like the casual ones. Lucy Moon does a lot of them and I, re I really enjoy them. But she's just, just like, it's just nice to hear somebody have a chat and I wanted to have a chat, so here I am. I might do a video like this with first impressions actually when I buy my makeup. Maybe I'll do that because I've been feeling like I want to buy my makeup for a while now. Also, my hair is so flat today. <laughs> I haven't done it though, it's, I've just got out of the shower and this is how it looks, and so, you know, swings and roundabouts. Got some contour on, gonna put on some blush, I got some Glossier. Also, in my recent video, I realised I say Glossier weird, but I don't know how, because it sounds right when I say it, but when I did it in my video, I was like, why am I saying that weird? I got some Glossier, 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 Glossier. I got some Glossier cloud paint. I've confused myself about what it's called. <laughs> um, this is the shade Dusk. This is great. You only need such a teeny weeny bit and it goes such a long way. And just, just literally, you can't really see. So just like dotted a tiny bit on my finger. I really like this. I want to get some other the shades and experiment with mixing them. If you've done that with the Glossier. Oh no, I just put my hand in eyeshadows. So my camera battery just died. Um, so that's the thing that happened. Anyway. I was about to use some Glossier Cloud paint, so I got this one in the shade Dusk. So I'm just going to dot a bit on my finger and pop some on my cheeks. With this, a little goes a really long way. When I first time I used it, I ended up with it everywhere. I really want to experiment with mixing these as well because I've heard they're really nice when you mix them. So I want to get a few more shades. Um, if you've mixed them, let me know how you got on with it and like what shades you've used and stuff. I want something a bit more pinky because this is a bit orangey, I think. I'm just using my fingers to apply this, as you can see. And I literally did one tiny dot for both cheeks. Right, yeah, I did one tiny dot for both cheeks, and look at that, great stuff. I'm gonna use for highlight. I'm gonna go in with this bad boy. This is the Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow Stick. I haven't used this in ages, and I found it the other day, and I forgot how much I like this. Look at cream products, and it's kind of goldy, kind of silvery. I'm just gonna apply it straight from the thing. Be honest just like that and use my finger to blend it out I'm gonna put a bit down my nose and on my cupid's bow and then just blend with my finger I really like this <laughs> put on more <laughs> because I like it <laughs> Go, got some highlight. How nice is that highlight? Now I'm going to. I might put a bit more cloud paint on actually because my cheeks feel a bit the best. I just I'm just gonna apply straight from the thing just to get the tiniest bit. Also, I'm not really into bronzer at the moment. Actually, I don't feel like I've ever been into bronzer. I don't think bronzer really suits me, which is a weird thing to say. But I think blush suits me more than bronzer. And every usually everyone loves bronzer, don't they? It's not bronzer gel, to be honest. Great, I'm gonna powder my face using my trusty Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and a Zoeva 106 powder brush. Might even use in a mirror for this, just one minute. You don't need a mirror for this to use this powder. <laughs> right, great. Just gonna put a bit of powder. I'm gonna fill in my brows ever so slightly using the, where is it? Sat on it under my ass, that's where it was. Why did I just say that? <laughs> the Benefit Browsing. If you've watched my channel a while, well, you will notice I've finally invested in one of the new packaging. I had about two to use. <laughs> I had the one with the old packaging for the longest time. I've still got it, still got a tiny bit left. I'm not throwing that out yet. Yeah, I, I didn't want my brows too filled in. I didn't want my brows too filled in, so I'm just gonna do them slightly. I'm gonna use this brush, which I haven't used in ages, but I feel like it's more kind of effective. I'm not sure what number this brush is, but it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And I just put my brush in the waxy part, and I'm just gonna draw on a couple hairs. I've stopped going to get my eyebrows threaded because last time the eyebrow lady did it, she gave me really thin brows. When I say really thin, they were probably quite thick. I like really thick brows. So now I'm just kind of having really thick brows, just letting them grow. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've plucked them like a tiny bit before a night out, but I don't want her to ruin my brows again. And I really like really big brows. I don't even like the brows neat anymore. It's big. I can't exactly go and be like, hey, can you remove two two hairs for me? Because that's literally all I want to do in things. I think I just need to cut them. Yeah, it's just use a tiny bit of that. And I'm going to do the same on the other one. Literally just filling out the bits where they're lacking, to be honest. Nothing major. I wasn't really sure if I was going to use this, so I just used a brow gel, but I decided to use this just to add a bit of something again because I'm going out for dinner and I feel like I need kind of raw brows. Now I'm just going to use a powdery shade on a techniques brush. By the way, I have this in the shade 2. I think I actually need a slightly darker shade in this, really. Um, but the lady in Boots sold me this shade. And it was between this and the next shade up, and she kept saying I should go for this, but I wish I went for the next shade up. So my memory card just was full up, so I just deleted some photos of myself off it, to be honest. Hopefully it will last till the end of the video, but it might not. No task worse than going through your memory card and deleting stuff. I find it really irritating, and I never want to delete everything off of it. Really frustrating. And I've got a few memory cards, but they're all, like, on the brink of full. Right, anyway, I'm using a um, powder on my eyebrows. Literally just giving it a light dust. Right, I've done that. I'm going to go back in with this glow stick and just put it on my finger and just go under my brow bone, I think. Right, so I'm doing that on the other eye. I don't know if this video is going to be and we're watching, but I, I'm i enjoying myself. I'm having a great time. I will come back to my brows in a minute to have brow gel. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and do my mascara. But I told you, things are very minimal in my makeup now. Um, using the Surratt Eyelash Curler, which is a godsend. And I'm just clamping them. I'm gonna go for the A Cosmetic Superhero Mascara first, I think. My lashes are coat with this because this does amazing things for like if you fancy thick lashes. Just on my top, I'm using this oh my god. I do find this smudges, but I bloody love it. Just one curl of that. Going for the selfie lash mascara by Tonya Boy Cosmetics and doing a coat over the top because it's not so smudgy and it's really good and it gets in all the places up. And I'm going to put this on my bottom lashes. Really weird fact but I do my bottom lashes on each eye differently and I don't know why. On this side I do it that way, on this side I do it that way. No idea why. Oh. Messed it up, didn't I? There we go. Now I'm going to do my brows, finish my brows off, put some on my lips. Glossy boy brow. In brown, and this stuff is the she's, and I'm just gonna comb that through my brows. And I like to brush them like up slightly, it makes such a difference. This does because it just gives me the brows I want. I mean, if you're not into full brows, I won't go for this, but if you like your brows to look extra hairy, this is where you need to go. <laughs> this is where you need to go. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. This is what you need. I'm even putting it on the ones underneath which I'm plucking, plucking out because I may as well just embrace that little that, that, don't I? Perfect, I just need to put something on my lips and I'm good to go. 
on my lips. I'm gonna use this Glossier the Cherry Bomb dot com. Um, I'm just gonna squeeze it down on my finger and rub it in. Basically, in this video, I've just every Glossier product I've used, I've said how much I love it. So, if you have any Glossier recommendations, let me know because I really want more from the brand because I like everything they do or everything I've tried. Perfect. Um, I'm going to spray my face with some satin spray. Let me grab it. Okay, I'm going to use this. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Satin Spray, which I really love. And I'm just going to spray my face. I'm done. Makeup is ready. What do you think? Well, I don't know why I did that, to be honest. But I did. That's my face. Do you like it? Do you like my face? It's my kind of everyday go-to minimal makeup. Some days I wear less mascara, a lot of times I go brown on the bottom. I've been enjoying wearing, so that's my face. I hope you enjoyed this little chat. I don't really know why I was, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you if you did watch it, and I will see you soon. Bye!